It's a summer day in August 2004, a beautiful sun-filled day on the shores of the historic Thunder Bay River near Atlanta. On this special day, people from all corners of the state and beyond are gathering together for a bittersweet celebration. A dear friend has left them. A man whose congeniality was as genuine as the love and dedication he put in both his life and his chosen life's work. The man, James Edward Foote. He passed away Tuesday, August 10th. He was 78 years old, and it was a life well lived. And it was a celebration of that life that brought these kindred spirits together. With his wife Joanne and eight children, the Foote family made hundreds of acquaintances from around the country. A vast majority considered Jim and his family close friends. If you weren't acquainted with Jim, chances are you were acquainted with his wildlife artistry. From world-class carvings to oil and acrylic renditions of the outdoors he loved. His work was recognized and snatched up by collectors as soon as they were completed, many even before the final chisel sweep or brush stroke made its mark. Today his friends and family would remember the joy that Jim brought to them all and the joy that he's left in their hearts. Jim graduated from the University of Michigan with a bachelor's degree in forestry and a master's in wildlife management. He worked for the Michigan DNR as a biologist for 27 years where he met his wife. Jim was assigned to the Atlanta field office and the Point Moulay state game area. When he retired, Jim took his love of art to the max, becoming a full-time artist and carver. His work has become legendary. When Michigan Magazine first met Jim, we discovered a man consumed with his art, a love that took many avenues and many side streets, roads that led to lifelong friendships. Early in when I first started painting, I was in the Detroit area there, and I did a lot of portraits of kids and stuff. Uh, on, I think I painted half the kids on Grozeal down there. Is that right? <laughs> Finally, portraits difficult. Yeah, it is. Not from the standpoint of doing it, but the standpoint of pleasing the mothers, because I was doing kids and. Uh huh. And I had uh, some of the. They used to bring over to the house two or three kids to get their picked, so they left them all day with me while the mother went shopping. <laughs> so, so you were the babysitter I, too. Right, so I finally decided to heck with that <laughs> and paint something besides kids. <laughs> Are you a hunter uh, too, uh, oh, yeah. Jim? Yeah, yeah. This was our uh, hunting camp here when, before we sold it to Tom. Yeah, I've been a grouse hunter all my life pretty much. Did a lot of it when I lived up here years ago. Any uh, particular fond memories that you'd like to share with us? Uh, Mostly Bob just the uh, great people that we've had here as guests over the years. Uh -huh. There was almost 15 years in a row when we we always had guests. When I was downstate, I, I did the American Sportsman program. We had Kill Brew and Allison, and then I had uh, Bill Free and those guys out hunting quite often. Uh -huh. I was in an area that I was the closest biologist to the city uh -huh. and so Opry and, and all the uh, uh, men covering even back that far were, were good friends and, and I'd either take them or somebody represent them out for uh -huh. stories and that. Mark Neff was a real close friend. Jerry Chappetta, they were my kind of people, all, you know what I mean, they enjoyed the things I enjoyed and, and uh, I really I don't think I, there was one I liked a little better than another because I liked them all. Oh, yeah. And we went for 15 years and, and during the 60 day grouse season, we had company every day for 16 years. Is that right? Yeah. We may miss a word here today or we'll miss a phrase or we might bite our lips once or twice, but we're here out of the love of our friend. Jim Foote will always be with us. Easy to say, but as we talk today and say these words, you're gonna find something that you did with Jim and Joanne. You're gonna find an event. You're gonna find a thought. And I'm hoping that we that start this off will get you to maybe, let, when I walk around you folks, maybe come up with a thought or two that you might like to say. I know it's hard. But we're here to celebrate, and Jim would not want it any other way. I've known a lot of you folks for a long time, 
and others of you I've just met in the last couple of days through Joanne, but I think I know you all because we had the one person in common. And it wasn't just for his art. He touched our lives on a daily basis. He'd be gone six, seven months hunting, fishing, or in Florida. I'd see him to Young Americans in August at Boyne Highlands, and I wouldn't see him again till January in Florida. And it was just like it was yesterday that we talked to our friend Jim. I bet you can all think about the times that you didn't see him, but you remember the second you were with him that it was just like yesterday. And that's, that I've always enjoyed that about the Foots. His devotion to family and friends, his leading by example all the time, has been the great part that I remember the most today. Jim Foot has been a friend of mine since the early 50s. His wife, not quite so long, but for a long, long time. Jim was the most gentle gentlemen that I've ever had the wonderful experience to be friends with. And his wife has the same kind of a heart. I can't say enough of good about Jim. You never could get ahead of him. I've got a gallery practically in my basement from Jim Foote and Joanne Foote. Joanne, our love to you and our love to Jim. Thank you for making me a part of your program. And so it went that day. Memories upon memories, stories upon stories. Acquaintances, friends, and of course, the family Jim Foote so dearly loved. I just, uh, remembering some things about my Uncle Jim, I, I just wanted you to, uh, to know how much I loved him. And My earliest memories of my Uncle Jim are from Christmas time. Uh, the gifts my sisters and I received from Joanne and Jim were always the big in the biggest boxes. And now even my kids treasure the unique gifts that uh, Uncle Jim and Aunt Joanne give. I can remember his uh, carving studio in Gibraltar and, uh, and that smell of the wood putty that he used to put the eyes and the decoys and the, and the uh, sawdust and the paint. And uh, I think I was the only uh, first grader that had a uh, Jim Foot hand-carved uh, pirate sword for Halloween. <laughs> The last several years with uh, Jim have been extremely special to me. My family and I visit each year, either here or in Florida. <clears throat> I had the real good fortune of being with, able to be with Jim three times this summer, and the last time was uh, this month in the hospital. He told me some things that have given me some comfort over the last few weeks. He said he lived a good life with no regrets. He told me he believed in Jesus in heaven and looked forward to being united with his father and brother. <clears throat> so let's today celebrate Jim's life and remember my uncle, a brilliant artist, loving husband, a father and a warm friend. And that surely will be the way Jim Foote will be remembered. A passionate man who lived and loved life, his family and friends, who expressed himself most eloquently through his works of art. His generosity was also legendary, as we at Michigan Magazine were well aware of. Jim made a special trip to the Michigan Magazine Museum to donate one of his original oils for all to enjoy. A serene scene of a man, perhaps it's Jim himself, casting his line onto the Asabo River. We wish we could bring you all the recollections of those that gathered August 22nd, 2004 at this celebration of life. But I'm sure those stories will be circulating amongst those who knew Jim well or appreciated his art. You can rest assured his spirit is reflected in his work and those he knew, a spirit that still touches the outdoor lover in all of us. As the memorial service concluded, no more proper words could be uttered than those that were. Let's rejoice in the fact that each of us can proclaim, I have been blessed, I knew Jim Foote. Let the celebration continue.